Midjourney, the hot new AI software you can use to create incredible art or just about any kind of visual you can dream of, from realistic photography to illustration, design, and beyond. But what you create comes down to how you structure and write your prompts. If you're new to Midjourney, you might be frustrated you haven't yet figured out how to create exactly what you want, but there is a secret to creating better images. In this video, I'll show you how you can use existing images like these and combine them in a mid-journey prompt to create truly unique AI art like this. Let's get started with using mid-journey in Discord. I like to create a new channel for every project just so it's easier to keep track of the images I'm generating. To do this, click on the plus sign next to text channels. From here, you can name your channel and set it to private. The key is to invite mid-journey to the channel by clicking the check mark for roles and members. Click Create Channel, and now you're in a brand new, clean channel. There are two ways you can blend images in Midjourney. For the first one, click the plus icon to upload images or simply drag and drop them onto the channel. Be sure to press Enter or Return on your keyboard to complete the upload. To combine these images in a prompt, we need the URLs. To get this, click on the image, then right click and select Save Image Address. Start your prompt with forward slash imagine, space, and then paste that link you just copied. Do the same for the second image. Right click, select save image address, add a space after the first link, and then paste this second link. Press enter or return to submit the message, and Midjourney will start its magic. The other method is to use the blend command. So you would type forward slash blend, and you'll see how this prompts you to upload or drag and drop images. You can actually combine up to five images, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just using two for now, but I encourage you to play around with multiple images and see what results you get. After Midjourney finishes rendering, this is the first result we get. Not bad, it looks like a really cool concept for a portrait, but what if we wanted to add to the image or change it a little? Well, we can do that by adding more keywords to the command, so let's try that. Again, starting with forward slash imagine, paste the two image links, this is important, and now I'll add distorted portrait. Press enter and this is what Midjourney generates. Now this is much more interesting and what I was looking for. But just for fun, let's keep going and try adding something else to the prompt to see what results we'll get. After pasting the two image links, I'll add distorted portrait, butterflies flying, backlit, and press enter. Adding notes on lighting will really help to transform your images. After using the remix button a few times, these are some of the other results. You can see how blending two or more images and then fine tuning your prompts by adding your own keywords can help you to create much more intricate artwork. When you've narrowed down to a final image that you're happy with, use these U buttons with the corresponding number to upscale and then download. U1 starts at the top left-hand corner and it continues clockwise. Just so you can see the power of blending images with Midjourney, let's test out some other combinations. This one reminds me a lot of Tim Burton's style. What happens if you combine photography with illustration? You'll notice in this combination, the subject of the beach remains, but now it has a painterly effect to it. Sometimes the most random things can create some fascinating images, like this one with a jellyfish and open road. Here we're combining a landscape image with a mid-range shot of cactus, and combining two different floral images. It seems Midjourney took the concept of a hand holding a bouquet from the first photo and the type of flowers in the second to create this new image. With these examples, you've seen the possibilities in AI art with blending reference images in Midjourney, and you've learned a little more of how to use the software in the process, and I'm sure your head is buzzing with ideas and inspiration. Use this tip to get started with creating your own art. If you have any questions or other things you would like to learn about Midjourney, let me know by leaving a comment below, and I might make a tutorial about it. 